what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to talk about uh, beam systems okay so we are still on steel framing topic so last time we have learned how to uh, add perimeter beams okay so this time around I'm going to teach you how to add beam system okay so let's move on to our level 2 so after we create the perimeter beams so let's go to the level 2 and then let's create our beam system. Now from here, I'm going to zoom in in this uh, area and then from the structure, structure panel. So there is a tool here that is called beam system. So you can also type BS, so structural beam system. So it creates a layout that is used to control the number and spacing of a series of parallel beams. So beam system boundaries can adapt to change uh, changes in the design. So use constraints and the peak supports tool to define the boundary of a beam system. All right, so let's do this. So I'm going to select this tool. And then after that, so we have uh, several options that we can select from here, including the beam type. So the, the beam type that I'll be using here is, uh, let's say, I will be using... Um, 20 uh, like 12 by 26 so you select this one and then for the fixed distance I'm going to select here maximum spacing so when you select maximum spacing the justification will now be disabled so layout rule is maximum spacing so let's say for example uh, 5 feet so 5 enter okay and then for the tag styles, so maybe I'll select here. Uh, okay, so let's try to use uh, framing. Okay, for the tag style. So tag on placement is check. Right, so that every time we place our beam system, automatically the tag will be placed. All right, so as you hover your pointer, as you can see, it shows you the preview of the beam that it will be creating okay so the type of beam system that I want to create is horizontal that's why I'm going to hover my pointer like this and then I'm going to pick just like that okay all right so let us now place one here there you go so we just created three here one so you just need to pick this sides so you can change here the type of the tag that you are using so currently the tag style is framing so if i click the drop down arrow i select the systems here so the tag will gonna be look like this so i click this one so that's now how it looks like okay so let's say, for example, you want to change this type of tag. So what you can do is to terminate the tool, select modify or escape a couple of times, and then delete the tag. Just select that and delete. And then let's say you want this type of tag. So I select this. So I right-click, create similar. And then let us now hover our pointer to the frame. So now I'm going to uh, uncheck the leader line. I do not want to have a leader line. So I just uncheck that one. And then let's just click. All right. So you just need to click it manually one by one. There you go. Okay. So let me select modify to terminate it. Let me go back again to structure, uh, beam system, same beam type, same layout rule, same uh, spacing. So for the tag style, I want frame uh, framing type. Okay, so let's continue creating our uh, beam system. Okay, so as you can see here, it's a bit difficult to place our uh, beam system in this area. But later on, we are going to solve that. So let us just continue to place our beam system to this area first. So I'm going to show you another way to create your beam system. Now, for this small area that we have here, so I'm going to change the beam type. So let me use a W8 by 10. So I select that one. And then let's pick here. Okay, let's pick. Pick. There we go. And here. All right, so let's change this again to W12 by 26. So again, don't worry about placing the beam in this area. I'm going to show you how to place another way of beam system 
Okay, so I place it here. On our next video, we are going to modify this area here on our shaft. So don't worry about placing the beams there. So I click here. Okay, click. Right click. There you go. Click. Click. All right. Okay, now for, the, for this area here, while the beam system is still activated, so as you can see here from the beam system, so the one that we are using is automatic beam system. Now, as you can see, we have another option here to create our beam system. So it's called Sketch Beam System. It opens the Sketch Editor for defining beam system boundaries. So I'm going to select this one, and then you will be going to the uh, Modify Create Beam System Boundary Contextual tab. So we are now going to create our boundary line. So we will be using here Peak Supports. So I'm going to select this one. All right. And then, okay, the first point that you will be picking will going to be the direction of your beam. So in our case, it should be horizontal. So I'm going to pick this horizontal here. So this is the first side of my sketch boundary. So let's pick this. Let's pick this one. Let's pick this one. Okay. And then let's select modify. Now, in every aspect, of creating your sketch, whether it be floor, whether it be beam system boundary, whether it be uh, wall profile. So make sure the profile here or the magenta color here is closed. No intersection, no overlapping. So as you can see in this area, it's not closed. So that's why we are going to close it using trim extend to corner or you can also type TR. And then just select the two sides that you want to stream extend to corner. Okay. So make sure every time you sketch, okay, make sure it's closed, no intersection, no overlapping. And then select modify here. And then make sure you are selecting the beam type that you want, the spacing that you want, and then the layout rule that you want. Okay. And then let me select here. Okay. Finish, check, and there you have it. Okay, then select modify. Now, um, what we are going to do here to the other side, let us just mirror this uh, framing here to here. Okay, so first let's select the beam system. You hover your pointer just like that. Okay, you hover your pointer until it highlights the beam system, then you click and then hold control. You click the tags as well. So you click the tags, click the tags while holding control so that it will be included to the selection. Now from the modify tab, there is a tool here that is called mirror draw axis. It draws a temporary line to use as an axis for monitoring or, or for mirroring. Sorry. So I'm going to select mirror draw axis or you can also type DM. So I select that one. And then after that, so I'm going to click somewhere here. So that's the center or the midpoint. So I'm going to click. And then I'm going to click another point here. There you go. Okay, so basically that's how you mirror an element. Okay, not only on the BIM system, but also in other element in Revit. Okay, and then let's select here, modify. And there you have it. So we just place our beam system in our second level. So if I go to the 3D view, this is now how it looks like. There you go. Right? So I'm going to type WT for window tiles. WT. All right. And there you go. Okay. So that's it. That's how you create or that's how you add a beam system. Okay, so in our next video, we're going to talk about on modifying our beam system. So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.